in this do-it-yourself video, we wanted to make one of these. This is a pressure cap that can be put on various plastic pop bottles, allowing you to pressurize the pop bottle with a bicycle pump or any other form of uh, air pressure, so that when you shoot it with your air rifle, it explodes. Here is what we need to make the pressure cap for exploding pop bottle air rifle targets. We need a little plumber cement or silicone. I've chosen plumber cement, silicone and caulking will work fine. Need some kind of a uh, small electric drill with uh, a bit of around 3 8 or a little bigger. 3 8 25 64 or uh, around 15 30 seconds. These will uh, all work. Need a pair of pliers as well. Now I'll get on to the uh, fittings and parts. We need a 1 8 NPT Schrade valve. We need a 7 16 washer. We need a 5 16 washer. We need a 1 8 NPT nut. And of course we need a uh, pot bottle cap to fit a uh, 2 liter pot bottle. The 5 16 washer you're going to have to drill its center hole out to 3 8 or uh, 25 64 like I mentioned for the drill bits, and that will uh, complete the parts once the 5 16 washer has had its hole drilled out. Let's move on to uh, putting this together. First step is to take a bottle cap like the one on the left, take your drill and drill a hole through the center of the top such that it looks like the prepared bottle cap on the right. To start assembly, take the Schrade valve and slip the 7 16 washer onto it. Then take your drilled bottle lid and screw it on so that the valve is in the top and things look like that. Here's a closer look at where we are so far. The next step will be to apply the silicone sealer or plumber sealer the 5 16 washer that you drilled out to 3 8 or a little bigger, and the uh, 1 8 NPT nut. Now your 5 16 washer has to fit around the uh, Schrade valve and inside the little ridge that exists inside the bottle cap. I've put in the plumber sealer. Next I'll slip the washer in place on top of it. Then we have to twist on the nut and tighten it with pliers. At this point we finished making the pressure cap and now we could uh, put it on a pot bottle of some sort and uh, test it, make sure it's tight enough and uh, doesn't leak. Here's our little project finished and it's sitting on top of a small plastic ginger ale bottle. I wish I had a 2 liter. These are only 710 milliliters, these bottles, and they just don't explode as well as a 2 liter would. But let's see if this will take pressure now that we've built our cap. Here's one of my shop airlines with the cheap hissy tire chuck on it. Don't know if you can see this 
pressure gauge or not. But just that little bit of air, we got 30 PSI in there, and we're not uh, leaking, so the plumber's sealers worked, and everything is tight enough. This now has 75 PSI in it, according to the little pressure gauge at the bottom left, and it's not leaking, so our pressure cap is successful, and we can pressurize our pot bottles so that they'll burst when shot with the air rifle. This still has about 75 PSI in it, it's not leaking. Off camera, I have a Crossman 22 caliber break action air rifle that uh, does around 480 feet per second. I'm going to fire a pellet at this pressurized pot bottle. Here's the aftermath, because these 710 milliliter bottles are so thick, it didn't tear despite there being 75 PSI in here. There's an entrance hole with a little tearing of maybe half an inch, and there's an exit hole with the very little tearing, and of course our pressure cap stays on the bottle, and we can just remove it, and use it again. You may have seen these in other videos, or seen them on the web. You don't really have to buy one. Uh, it's quite easy to make this yourself, and it works quite well.